tonight, a disturbing vandalism spree in the Bronx. Several synagogues have been targeted since Thursday. Windows shattered, as is the community's sense of security. But moments ago, police released a new clue. News 4's Ida Siegel is live in Riverdale as police beef up security. Ida? Yeah, Gilma, police actually just released the images of the suspect that they're looking for for all of these crimes. And they come from the surveillance camera at this synagogue behind me here. This is young Israel of Riverdale. And you can see the shattered glass still there uh, on the ground. There's shattered glass at synagogues around this neighborhood today. In Riverdale this weekend, members of multiple synagogues woke up to this shattered glass where someone had thrown a rock deliberately smashing windows. And it wasn't just at one synagogue, it was at four different locations. I mean, I'm Jewish myself. I go to one of the synagogues and, you know, I wish those, those who are responsible would get caught and they you know, brought to justice. This is horrible. I mean, I don't know where America is going to. It's awful. It's, it's very upsetting. I feel like there's a lot of hate going on right now. Police released these photos captured outside the Young Israel of Riverdale Synagogue on Henry Hudson Parkway. They believe this is the sole person responsible for all the acts of vandalism that happened over the weekend. To see an act of uh, violence and vandalism is extremely disturbing. Yeah. I think the only uh, saving grace is the report we heard that uh, the police are convinced that this is the work of one person. Police say the series of attacks happened Friday and Saturday, including at the Riverdale Jewish Center, which was hit twice, and Chabad of Riverdale also hit twice. Windows still sit broken at the conservative synagogue Adath Israel of Riverdale as well. Today, Mayor de Blasio tweeted the NYPD's Hate Crimes Task Force has a solid lead on the vile acts of anti-Semitism in the Bronx, and we will take swift action against the perpetrators. Unfortunately, there's a history of anti-Semitism in the United States. And, um, you know, it's, we, there are times when it's better and times when it's worse. And now uh, we're, we're living through um, some very dark times. And the governor announced today that the state will also assist with its hate crimes task force. Again, there is a specific person that the police are looking for. If that person we showed you in the surveillance images looks familiar to you, you should reach out to the police. Reporting live from Riverdale, Ida Siegel, News 4, New York.